Another day, another AAA game that everyone's hyped about ends up disappointing them. Yo, yeah, what's up people? Today we're going to be reviewing The Last of Us 2 and this game has been getting a lot of backlash recently. So having spent 25 hours of my life playing it, is all the hate justified? Yes, 110%. This game is a fucking train wreck. Now, normally I wait till the end before I give a recommendation, but I'm just gonna give it now instead. I can't recommend this game to anyone. Uh, even if you want to go against that because you want to play it for yourself, then I, su I suggest you just wait for it to go on sale. Like, I, I can't tell anyone to buy this game. Uh, I'm gonna leave your story for last because I have the most to say about that, so let's start with the gameplay. If you played the first Last of Us, then you've played this game. It feels exactly the same. A lot of the bad mechanics in the first game I excused because the game was old, but not this time. This game has the same janky and clunky ass shooting mechanics, bad hit registration. God damn it. And, and terrible AI. They did add a few new mechanics like being able to go prone in tall grass for more stealthy gameplay and being able to equip a suppressor on the go. You do the usual scavenge for scraps and pills to upgrade your guns and abilities in the skill tree while killing enemies from the new faction called the Scars and the Wolves as you progress through the story. This gets old very quickly after about 8 hours I was starting to get bored. The gameplay gets very repetitive, scavenge, kill humans, kill zombies. Enter an empty area and scavenge again, rinse and repeat. The graphics look good though. If I have to say something positive about this game, it's the animations. There's an animation for everything you do and they look really well done, so you can tell they put a lot of their focus in this section of the game. So shout out to the devs that worked on this, cause the rope physics must have been a nightmare to make. If I'm fishing for positives, I'll say they made a decent stealth game. I say decent again because the AI is trash. If you were to tell me this game released 7 years after the original, I would not believe you with how similar the gameplay is to the previous game. Now, as for the story, like I said, train wreck. There's a controversial scene in the beginning of the game that everyone's mad about and a lot of people say this is why the story is bad. Uh, for me, that's not the case. It's one of the main reasons, but it's not the main reason. This is supposed to be a spoiler for review, so I won't get into detail, but if I do, that'll be in a separate video. But the biggest issue with this game is that it has a lot of filler and flashbacks, and the pacing is horrible. This game could have easily ended in about 12 hours, but it just kept going on and on. I'll be honest, I said fuck it, I am done at least twice. I was gonna give up on finishing this game because I was so bored and it never seemed to be coming to an end. There are like three or more cutscenes that make you think you're at the end and then it's like, psych, bitch, you thought, next chapter, keep going. No, you get to play as different characters this time around and I was glad because Ellie was annoying as fuck. And a lot of things in this story didn't make sense and didn't add up. The decisions the characters make throughout the game get increasingly annoying because they don't make sense. And I actually hated Ellie's character by the end of the game. Abby actually had the better storyline and she wasn't even the main focus. The game was still boring, don't get me wrong, but Abby had the more interesting storyline out of the two. I think they should have left Abby's story as a DLC and not extend this game by 10 hours by flashbacks. After struggling and pushing through the 20 hours when I reached the end, it was soul crushing. I've never felt more regret than wasting my time. The ending we were given is so disappointing and had no impact and it was less than satisfactory. The Last of Us 2 is mentally exhausting and I know there are people out there that are going to defend this to the death. Like if you don't like this masterpiece then you miss the important messages in the game and it's like nah, nah, stop it. it miss me with that bullshit dog. Like there are much better games out there that have the exact same messages that are much more fun to play. And no, I, I, I understood the messages loud and clear, you know, it's all about forgiveness and senseless violence isn't the answer and you'll lose everything on your quest for revenge. I, I got the messages. It's not that deep. The game is just trash. Like, <laughs> I mean, if you like the game, that's cool, like, to each their own. Like, this is a story game, so even if the gameplay was bad, I could kind of excuse it because you're supposed to focus on the story. But this game has neither of those things going for it, so, um... Yeah, final verdict, you, you might want to skip this one. Again, if you want to play it for yourself, regardless, uh, wait for it to go on sale. Like, I really don't rate games uh, by numbers on this channel, but if I did, this game would be a strong 4.5. Maybe 5 the max. And that's only because the animations look so good. Uh, and the game's functional. As in, you press a button, it works. I didn't get any bugs. That's, that's about it. 
Um, but yeah, that's the end of this review. If you played the game, uh, how did you feel about it? You can leave them down uh, in the comment section down below. And don't spoil the game for other people who haven't played it yet. But that's the end of this review. So like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.